It is Wednesday, December 16, and this is your online instruction for English Today. Our learning target reads, I can understand the instructions for the creative writing activity. So from now until the end of the semester, this is what we're going to be doing. We're going to be creating a children's Christmas story. This can be either made with paper or you can do it on a computer like using Google Slides. It needs to be a minimum of 16 pages with four lines per page. So if you were looking at Twas the Night Before Christmas, which we did yesterday, that's roughly 15 pages and they have four lines per page. So if you look at like uh, the video online of the book being read, that's a perfect example. And then the Polar Express itself is about 20 pages with about four lines per page. So it's not that much, just a standard kind of picture book length. You're gonna also have to include various pieces of figurative language within your story as well. But before we begin drafting the book, we first need to create a brainstorming guide so that way we understand what we're gonna be writing about. So kind of as a review, the first, one of the first things we talked about as a seventh grader was the dramatic structure. So that's between exposition, rising action, climax, falling action, and resolution. So just give a pretty much a couple word summary of what's gonna happen in those steps along the line in your book. And that's all that this part's gonna be. Then you're gonna to have to need a total of five literary devices in your book with at least one of each of the following appearing within it. So be sure to write in your literary devices below that occur in the book. So I need at least one simile, one metaphor, and one instance of personification. Then finally, we're going to do something what is, what is called storyboarding, which is what writers and screenwriters do before they start shooting film or they put together a full story. All you have to do is give a brief description of what illustration is going to appear or what photos are going to appear on the page of the book. So since it's a minimum of 16, that's how many I put here on this document. If you need more, you can just hit tab on the lowest box and that will generate another row for you for to add in extra pages. Finally, down here at the very bottom of this, this is a checklist of all of the key things that students talked about in class with the stories that we read between the Polar Express and Twas the Night Before Christmas. Either these, in, these qualities were not apparent enough within the stories we read or students enjoyed those specific tidbits from within it. So be sure to be reflecting upon these six key things while you're making your children's story. Since I only have two online learners right now, if you want to contact one another, that is perfectly fine if you want to work together on this since I'm letting students work with a partner. Or if you want to work on this at home on your own or like maybe another sibling at home, that's perfectly fine too. After you've completed this document, email me or give me a private message so I can check it out and get writing on, um, help you put together whatever is missing so that way you can start crafting your story. Otherwise, I probably won't upload a video until Friday from here because the instructions are pretty self-explanatory. You just have to get working on this book. So if you have any questions, please feel free to reach out to me. Otherwise, have a fantastic rest of your day.